for the people who have actually used Adobe Photoshop know of this tool called Fill and it's to basically remove any object within a photo. However, Photoshop is a paid app and it takes a few minutes to actually apply this tool into the image. That's where Instant In Paint comes in. Now this is a new tool where you're able to actually instruct within a chatbot to remove a certain image with diffusion models. Now image inpainting task refers to erasing unwanted pixels from images and filling them in a somatic consistent way. Now traditionally, the pixels that are wished to be erased are defined with binary masks such as the fill tool in Photoshop which we saw earlier. Now from earlier examples and applications, the point of view is that a user needs to generate the mask for an object so that they would be able to remove what they want which is very time consuming and prone to a lot of errors. So what researchers of the Instant In Paint project have done is that they have created a way to remove objects from the image based on instructions that are given with the text prompt. Now this is by constructing a new data set called GQA In Paint. And it's something that we will cover throughout today's video as I'll be showing you guys how you can actually use Instant Paint in diffusion models and how you can actually install it. So guys, before we actually move on with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for the thousand followers on World of AI. I'm going to make sure that you guys get the best up-to-date AI news and so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. So definitely give this a follow. Make sure you subscribe to our notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll 100% benefit from. So with that thought guys, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, as we talked about at the start, we're gonna take a look at Instant In Paint by instructing to remove objects with diffusion models. Now, this is actually something that was released today as the researchers dropped their research paper on this project, released the code, as well as a demo in which you can actually access. Now, this is an open source project that is free, which just goes to show that slowly but surely, you're gonna see these paid applications such as Adobe's Photoshop fading away as there's AI applications that are becoming more applicable and usable and it's like definitely innovating in certain ways that Photoshop is not as well as many of these other editing softwares but huge props to researchers for releasing such an amazing concept of instant in paint. Now this is definitely a groundbreaking approach to image in painting as it combines the power of natural language inputs and diffusion models to remove objects. Now just take a look at this image over here. We see that there is a prompt that is given with an instruction to remove the gray kite on the left. And we can see with the output, there is no more gray kite. Wow, we can see this with many different examples over here. We're able to see the light, the street light is removed. We have this person in this image removed. Uh, the red car is removed. Now, one thing I notice is that there's many different applications that are actually out there that tries to replicate what the actual in-paint feature is supposed to do but in this case they have done such an amazing job by making sure that the process of eliminating unwanted pixels from images and filling them in the gaps that it should be is in the best effective and efficient way and this is something that i'll showcase as we go throughout this video now before we actually get into the methods as well as Taking a look at a deeper look as to what you can do with this project, I'm gonna just showcase what you can, how you can actually install it and taking a look at the demo before we get into the gist of the nitty gritty of this project. Now, before we actually get to the installation, you can access the demo on Hugging Face and this is where you can basically see what the true capabilities are of instant in paint. Now, just take a look at this example over here. You're asking it to remove the woman and it does a really good job in doing so with the outputted image. Now, another good one is remove the cup on the left, which we can see over here. There's a cup and it does a great job by cropping the image a little bit and then removing that cup on the left job, left side, sorry. And this is basically what you can actually do with the demo as it gives a good representation of what the true capabilities are of Instant In Paint. In terms of installing Instant In Paint, 
you're gonna need three applications sorry two and firstly that is git which is an application that'll help you clone the repository and secondly you will need python to help you configure the code now once you have those two things ready you can get on to the next step where you need to start by cloning the repository and it's fairly easy it'll take a couple seconds you can get into the instant inpaint folder by typing in cd instant inpaint and this is where you're going to set up the whole environment and this is where you'll actually need anaconda and it's required to install the dependencies it's fairly easy to install so just go on this website install it uh, once you have that installed, you can start by creating the environment and you can activate instant in paint fairly easily. So you can see that I opened up the Anaconda PowerShell prompt and from here I am creating the environment by copying this code. Now this part is fairly easily and this is done by opening up your command prompt, uh, not your Anaconda prompt but uh, command prompt sorry. And you just basically copy this code, paste it into here click enter and it'll start cloning the repository after that is done you don't need to type in to get into the folder but you can easily just close the command prompt then once you're in the actual anaconda powershell you can first type in cd instant in paint now once this is done you're in the actual folder you can paste the conda and create the file requirements so once that is done, it is going to start unpacking the dependencies with Anaconda's PowerShell. So once this is done, it'll take a couple of seconds. It's collecting the packages from the environment of instant inpaint. So once this is all done, we can then run and activate instant inpaint. Now on your local host, you can start off by inputting an image giving it an instruction and from this instruction you get the output so in this case we asked it remove the round circle at the center and from the outputted image we can see that the circle is now gone from the center and that's basically the true capabilities of instant in paint so this is how you can actually install it and how you can play around with it now there's a couple other things i wanted to talk about and that is the certain things that are required to set up the in, in paint data set files you need to read through this so that you can train and evaluate the models as well as inputting certain pre-trained models so that you can train it further so if you want to get a better idea as to what you can do i highly recommend that you try and set this up over here in with the actual grant or not sorry the github repository so you can get a better idea as to how you can start up and train your own model as well as doing the other things that are specified with the github repository so with that thought let's get to the next step of the video where we talk a little bit more about what instant paint is about in terms of how it operates and the methods behind it now in this particular research we're able to see that they focus on revolutionizing the image inpainting process now rather than actually relying on a manual mass creation which we saw at the start of the video with photoshop you're able to use this tool to remove objects from images using natural language inputs and this is through eliminating the need for users to create a binary mask themselves to streamline this process of removing certain objects in an image now to facilitate this they have done this novel approach as they've created a dedicated data set that is called gqa in paint and this data set basically serves as a valuable resource to train and test the in paint algorithm now it likely is to contain a diverse range of different images that are associated with natural language instructions and it describes the desired object removal so it works towards removing such images or contents in an image sorry through this data set now the instant input framework is the heart of this innovation as it basically leverages different diffusion models such as GAN and other models that are designed to estimate which objects need to be removed based off the provided natural language input. Now through this algorithm it removes the specified objects from the image. So this is how it actually is able to function as it utilizes different diffusion models as well as its data sets to help remove certain objects of an image. Now lastly, let's take a look as to the architecture of how InPaint is actually able to operate. So this project, as we talked about, has made their own 
InPaint data set and that is called GQA InPaint. Now this is a new way of fixing the images as we talked about and it's to create pairs of input and outputs from fixed as well as original input images and they use these pictures from different scene descriptions that is put from the input description of a prompt that you give it. Now it starts off with a four way process of doing this. It starts off by selecting the object that you want to remove and then moves towards the segmentation which is a technique that is used to find exactly where the object is in the picture. So we can see that there is a prompt of the woman, boat, and there's another woman in the image. So in this case, it's selecting what it needs to remove, extracts what the object is by finding and selecting where it is, and then it moves on to the next step of removing the object from the image. So we can see over here that you wanna remove the image of this woman in the red, it selects it and then it actually removes it and then it generates the textual prompt remove the woman at the end right of the boat so this is where it writes the description that tells how they remove the object using this framework and this method from gqa in paint now there is another way of doing so and that is training the instant in paint for instruction image impainting and this is where the gqa impaint data set has a total of 150k different pictures with 40k different instructions so they train this instant impaint model using this data set and this model uses text to fix images and based off a special way of changing the images called conditional latent diffusion model. Now, the cool thing is that it doesn't need a mask that tells it what it needs to actually remove and it just fixes the image based off the input that you give it, which is absolutely amazing. And this is something that you can definitely check out with the links in the description below as you can take a look at the blog post as well as their repo and their research paper. And with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got the best knowledge out of this video and you're able to use this instant in paint application to help you with your different photo needs and diffusion needs with these different models. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Make sure you definitely check out this project with the links in the description below. Make sure you follow World of AI if you guys haven't already. This is a growing page where I'm going to be posting the latest AI content and news over here. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to our notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen our previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so, so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.